welcome to my YouTube channel, Hair by Princess Aurora's. My name is Aurora, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how I cut my own hair. Yes, you heard that right, I cut my hair myself. And I started doing so thanks to the year 2020. So, ever since then, I just never went back. To a hair salon, that is. So what you're seeing now is my hair fully dry after the haircut, and I'm gonna show you how I did that right now. So first what I did off camera was I shampooed my hair twice and I applied conditioner. The reason why I shampooed twice is because not only does the first shampoo not get super foamy, but that's because the shampoo is actually removing product buildup on your hair. And the second shampoo is to actually cleanse your scalp. So let me repeat that. The first time you shampoo is to wash your hair. The second shampoo is to actually cleanse your scalp. Do it this way and you will thank me later. And then I applied conditioner from root to tip and I left it on for a few minutes before rinsing it out. And what you saw me do a couple seconds ago was I reapplied some water because it had been a while since I got out of the shower. Now I'm making my side part because I'm gonna cut my bangs first. So the first cut that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it above my fingers. You never ever ever cut hair this way but the only reason why I'm doing it this time is because I can't see my bangs underneath my fingers and I know exactly where I want to cut it. So this is the only time I'm cutting above my fingers. Now, when I made the cut, I made my fingers parallel to the ends. So my ends are at an angle, so my fingers are at an angle and that's to ensure that I'm cutting evenly. So my shears and comb are both from Samvia. My shears are the Essential Series Shear five and a half inches for right-handed people and my comb is the Signature Series Short Cutting Comb in black. I like to have face framing layers, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my hair with my bangs. What that means is I'm gonna continue the angle from my bangs all the way down until I run out of hair. And now I'm ready to move to my left side. So I'm gonna part my hair down the middle and bring my bangs over to the other side so that way my left side can match my right side. And now I'm gonna repeat the process on my left side that I did on my right, but I will be angling my fingers the other way. So now my fingers will be pointing up but I'm still cutting at the same angle. Now on the left side, I do tend to forget that I have to show the camera what I'm cutting, but again, I'm just cutting a straight line. Even though that it's angled, it's a straight line. So you wanna make sure that the pieces in the middle match the sections on both ends. I was having a lot of trouble on this side, so I keep going over the same sections, but as you could see, sometimes I missed a hair or two. So it's actually helpful that I continue to go over it and over it to make sure that everything is even. So I'm still working on my left side, but I pushed my bangs out of the way because they were just getting in my way. So that's the only reason why I did that here. So I think I'm pretty much done with the front side. So I'm gonna check my length to make sure it is the exact same. And if it is not, I'm gonna do some adjusting once again.
so now that I'm done with the front, I'm gonna start working on the back section of my hair and I'm gonna take vertical sections all the way down to my occipital bone. And I'm gonna comb it straight out and I'm just gonna make sure that it's straight. And if it's not, I will cut. So the one thing I always remember when I'm cutting my own hair is to not lose tension between my pointer and middle finger because if I lose tension of that section, I'm going to end up with a haircut that I cannot fix. So that is the most important thing in order to cut it straight is don't lose the tension because of course I'm moving it out of place and as long as I keep that tension between the fingers, then I'll be able to make the cut. So I'm going to reapply some water because my hair is starting to dry up and I still have a couple spots that I need to check. And here's the aftermath. Doesn't look like a lot, but it made a huge difference. So I'm applying water on my hair again because I find that my styling products work better when my hair is wet. And then I'm going to distribute the water throughout my hair using my Pink Beauty Never Let Go Detangling Comb. So the first product that I'm going to use is my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. And what I do is that I grab a quarter size amount and I apply it to the back of my head. And then I apply another quarter size amount to the top of my head. And then finally, a quarter size amount for the ends of my hair. And I do this because I find that my hair has more volume when I do it this way. So when it comes to my ends, I'm gonna scrunch the product into my hair. I'm not gonna apply it the way I did to the back and top of my head because I want my curls to form at the ends of my hair rather than at the top. At the top, I'm more concerned about volume and at the bottom, I want my curls to form like ringlets. And now I'm gonna take two pumps of my Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Mousse and I'm gonna scrunch it into my hair from the ends up to the root. And I'm gonna do this all over my hair. The reason why I use these two products is because the leave-in conditioner is going to make my curls smooth and shiny, whereas the mousse is going to add volume and hold. So the way that I scrunch my hair is I start with my hand open at the ends and as I'm moving closer to the root, I will create a fist. And then I'm going to add a slight parting. I don't like to have a harsh line of a parting. I like to keep it as natural as possible and just kind of guide my hair to my right side. I'm also bringing my hair forward and scrunching the top to encourage a wave pattern because with the wave pattern, I will have more volume. And on my 
my left side, I always have some baby hairs that like to curl up and out. So I will just take a little bit of water and smooth it down so that way it can dry flat. And this is how my hair looks when I'm all done. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I would not recommend that you try this technique on yourself. Please ask a trusted friend if you cannot get to a hair salon for whatever reason to cut your hair for you just because it does get a little scary around the face. So please, please, please do not try this on yourself. But as you can see, this is the final result of my haircut. I just have more texture, volume, and I have ringlets in my hair. You know, I've always noticed that when I get a haircut, I have more ringlets. So that to me means my hair is healthy again. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying my channel, I'd really appreciate if you press all those YouTube buttons that let me know. And also I have an Instagram at Hair by Princess Aurora, so please go follow me there. And if you do all that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe out there, count your blessings, and keep it humble. Bye. Hi, me again. So I totally forgot to show you guys what the length looks like from the back. I'm sure that's the number one thing you guys wanna know is if I cut it even or not. Um, so I'm gonna show you, but keep in mind, my hair is curly. So because of the, you know, the texture and the fact that the curls aren't all the same, you know, it may not look even anyway. So just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you. So yeah, I think it looks like a slight V cut, um, but I'm not too worried about it. If I did want it to be more straight, I would just ask someone to help me, you know, real quick and just cut it straight for me. But yeah, that's about it. All right, bye.